Hello everyone. In today's session, we will discuss HTML5 interview questions and answers. I wanted to discuss 10 commonly asked questions during the interview for front-end developer role. HTML5 and CSS technologies are widely used. It is commonly used because most of the mobile devices, iPad, other tablets, Android tablets, uh, Android and iOS phones do support HTML5. They don't support Flash. That's one of the major reasons why HTML5 is in demand. I hope you'll enjoy this question and answer sessions and it will be useful in your upcoming interview. So let's start with question one. What is the use of canvas element in HTML5? Now remember, HTML5 has canvas element that can be used to draw graphics images on a web page using JavaScript. Canvas element was not introduced in any other earlier version of HTML5. But using HTML5 canvas element HTML tag, you can now draw graphics images that is supported in iOS and Android and any other desktop browsers without need of any plugins. Question two, which could be a follow-up questions. Also, you can see the code on your screen. Can you give an example of canvas element and how it can be used? Very simple. Canvas element is nothing but just a simple ordinary HTML tag. As you can see the highlighted portion of text or code, the way we write canvas element. You define by canvas ID, you can also specify width and height. In this example, we are giving canvas ID equals DGT canvas, width equals 500, height equals 400. And go ahead and close this canvas tag as shown in the code. Now you can write a JavaScript and reference this canvas element as shown again in this code. So basically you are defining a variable in this case which is var where dgt canvas equals document.get element id sorry document.get element by id DGT canvas. So basically, you're grabbing that HTML DOM element into your JavaScript and then you apply methods on DGT canvas variable. So once you have defined DGT canvas, what I've done is define another DGT text variable and then perform other operations. After you're done, you can just close the script tag for JavaScript. Question three, which is very commonly asked HTML5 questions during the interview. What is the purpose of HTML5 versus XHTML? Now, if you know XHTML, which is HTML 4.01, HTML5 is nothing but the latest version or you can say upgraded version of HTML. It aims to reduce the need of proprietary plugin. As you know, when you want to play certain elements in your HTML browser, you normally ask to download plugins such as Flash and etc. If you have HTML5 and if you want to load a video or any audio file or certain types of image files, you do not need any additional plugins. That's the whole goal of HTML5. And that is why it is very popular because you can just write code once and it will work on your desktop devices regardless of what browser you're using. What operating system you're using, whether you're using iOS or Android. 
so it eliminates the need of any proprietary plugin and that's the beauty of HTML5. Next question, what is the difference between HTML and HTML5? This could be a follow-up question. HTML5 is nothing but an upgraded version of HTML for HTML 4.01, which is known as XHTML, that supports innovative features, as I just explained, such as video, audio, MP3, date function, placeholder, canvas that we just discussed, 2D or 3D graphics, local SQL databases, added, so we do not need any external plugin like Flash, Adobe, or Flash Player or other, or other library elements. Let's move on to next question. What are some advantages of using HTML5? So we already discussed, but I wanted to add a couple of more in addition to what we just discussed. HTML5 helps basically writing a cleaner markup language. It also gives you an ability to write clear semantics of new elements such as header, now and time. It also supports new form of input types and attributes that will take the hassle out of scripting form. If you want to know more about this third topic, you might want to look more into HTML5 documentation. Also, we will cover this part into our tutorial for HTML5. Here the idea is to give you some basic understanding and how to answer HTML5 interview questions. Let's move on to the next question. This is a more generic question. This could be asked regardless of whether it's HTML5 or 4.0 or whatnot. So the question is what is the doc type? Is it mandatory to use in HTML5? Doc type is an instruction or the document declaration that tells the web browser about the version of HTML that the page is written in. The doc type tag does not have an end tag and it is not case sensitive. That's the very first thing that you declare in your HTML document with explanation mark doc type the way I have written here and it comes before the HTML tag as in HTML 4.01 all doc type declaration requires a reference to document type definition document type definition is DTD because 4.01 is based on standard generalized markup language or SGML Whereas HTML5 is not based on SGML and therefore it does not require a reference to a DTD. So is it mandatory to use doc type in HTML5? The answer is no. Let's move on to next question. What are new media elements in HTML5? So as I just explained earlier that HTML5 introduces new media elements and those are audio, video, source, embed and track. Audio is used for multimedia content, sound, music or other audio stream. For video video content we use video tag or video element and remember it plays the file accordingly on various types of browsers or operating systems such as iOS or Android on your mobile devices or on your desktop 
embed element is used to embed content such as a plugin and track is used for for text tracks used in media players track is somewhat lessly used new element but it is very useful when you're working with media players next question one of the favorite one and you can definitely expect this will be asked what is the major improvement with HTML5 in reference to Flash? The short answer is Flash is not supported everywhere. It is not supported on your mobile devices such as iPad, iPhone, or Android applications, including tablets and Android phones. So if you have lack of support in Flash plugins, you cannot basically play any video or audio streaming or you cannot display any ad, ad banners. HTML5 supports audio and video as we explained earlier without need, without need of any other plugins. And it is supported on all devices. All the apps and browsers including Apple and Android products so basically compared to flash HTML5 is universally available with all the elements there are some concerns some security concerns with flash with HTML5 you do not have any security concerns so HTML5 is very secure and protected Let's move on to the last question for today's session. What is the session storage object in HTML5 and how you can create and access that? The HTML5 session storage object is used to store data for one session. The data is deleted when the user closes the browser window or when the session ends, in other words. We can create and access session storage create a name as session. It is written in JavaScript. Look at this session story.name equals digitech in this case. And then you can use document.write session storage.name in JavaScript. I hope you like all this interview questions and answers. The idea here is to provide you with some basic information and how to answer some of the very basic HTML5 interview questions during the interview. You can expect all of this question will be asked in one form or another because these are very basic questions that every interviewer is expected to know. Um, whether you are applying for front-end engineer or front-end developer, HTML5 is a must. I hope you like this video. If you do, please like us and leave a comment. Thanks for watching the video and wish you good luck.